Well, hello. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great. I am doing good and doing great. Happy Friday, okay? Um, Hershey me, it's me. Hershey me, it's you. Hershey me, it's us. As y'all know, this I ain't been on here in a minute, but I'm back now, okay? I told y'all uh, when it came to August, I was starting a new job. Yay. And I started it. Let me tell you. I kind of feel like um, I may have landed, okay? I may have landed, uh, I would say, where you always, you almost feel comfortable to say, okay, I think I have landed comfortably, okay? Um, not feeling how I felt at first. I feel like Okay, this is, I, I want to say just like when you go out of town or something and you go visit somebody and sometimes the atmosphere, even whatever it's given, it's just say, like, okay, this feels like home, okay? Um, so that's what I want to say. So basically saying overall, starting out the job seems absolutely great, okay? I was going to say perfect, but I ain't going to say perfect. I'm going to say great. Um so now y'all already know I just have to figure out how to balance. Well, I know how to balance it because I have morning, but still just I just want to get in the swing of things to have a routine as I always, okay? Uh let's see. How are we doing on this day? How are we doing on this Friday? I hope we all woke up in an amazing space. Uh feeling amazing. I know. It's unfortunate that a lot of us probably didn't wake up that way to feel that way. Some of us probably woke up to say, okay, I am in a funk today, but why are we in this funk? How long have we been in this funk? Is there any uh, ways that you can get out of this funk? What is it that you can do to brighten up your day to make you feel just a little bit better? And then I will go over and say, okay, we holding it. We holding a jug or we holding a pitcher. What are we doing with it? Is we just holding it? Is we just sitting it down somewhere? Are we holding it in order to pour some into ourselves? You understand? Fill me back up where I have lost a lot. Fill me back up where I may feel weak and not strengthened at this moment. Okay. Um, I also want to say, as y'all can see, and I jumped in there and I answered a lot of comments and you know it's a few comments where I get on here and I speak y'all but sometimes as I tell y'all to me it's just but I have learned to say up oh, I'm not gonna go on that I'm just gonna give it and do it and keep it pushing but then when I reach out comments and some of y'all say well I have helped y'all it's amazing for me to hear because I just take the words and I just speak it. You understand? Not knowing that it really is is opening somebody's eyes. Somebody is really opening their ears to listen to say, wow, you understand? As of today, I need to make just a little change. As of today, I need to do something just a little different. Maybe with that reading. Maybe with that reading. I kind of vibed out and connected with it. Or maybe the reading that she is giving is really feels like that's me or speaking to me. I appreciate that, y'all. And just sharing and being honest. And also the ones that sharing to say, I was in a slump. I was in a funk. Okay. I was in a just don't know what to do. I was in a, I, I know that I need to make a change. I need to do different. You understand? But I'm scared. I'm scared to jump out of my element. I'm scared to get out of the norm. But then once you move forward, move forward in order not to, to look at no distractions or fear. Don't let fear get in the way, but just actually move forward. Then you learn and you see for yourself with me moving forward and not trying to hold on to back or not trying to hold on to the same. Giving myself a chance to make a change that is the best thing. It's the best thing there is, okay? And that's where they say new chapter, new journey. You understand? If we don't allow ourselves to move, if we don't allow ourselves to do different, 
or see different or feel different. What are you giving? Because as I said, as I think, we should, we should change each and every day. We should change something up each and every day. Switch up. You understand? You ain't gotta you ain't gotta change the whole thing, but just change just a little bit gradually. Do you understand? I needed that. What I'm receiving right now, I need it. You understand? All right, so and then I will go and say Rafa, okay? Recognize, recognize to release. Okay, acknowledge, acknowledge, acknowledge to face it, and face it to address it. Then the overall is, I am doing this in order to speak out loud, to be loudly heard, okay? We can't continue to hold everything in. We can't continue to hold our feelings in. We can't continue to hold things that's, that's keeping us bounded. We cannot continue. We cannot continue to drag the past with us each and every day. We cannot continue. At some point, at some time, we just have to give different. We have to do different. We have to start facing and addressing in order to allow ourselves to heal. There's so many people that's walking around and guess what? They're so broken. They're so hurt. They're so traumatized you understand they're so misunderstood they're so i would say they where you say i walk around and i feel like i am so breakable you understand well maybe i am breakable at this moment at this time it's because i don't take this time out to understand myself you understand to understand my feelings understand the things that i'm going through understand the whole situation the whole situation in order to heal myself not only within, but also on the outside as well. Healing. Healing is very important. But why do we not take the time out to heal? Because there it goes again. I hold this jug each and every day. My jug is full. But I will not allow myself to pour into myself i forget about myself or i say this is too much i don't want to face it i don't i don't want to give that much i don't want to put that much in i don't want to give too much energy to that okay well maybe i could just leave it back there and not face it because if i don't face it if i don't talk about it if i don't speak out loud guess what I won't have to worry about it it'll just go away this is a new day i can keep moving ahead Somewhere in there when my mood shift, when I get in my quiet, everything that I've been told and everything that I think that I'm leaving behind, it falls upon you. It falls upon you and then that's where it go. Why do I feel like this? Why do I hold myself back? Why do I doubt myself? Why do I overthink? Why do I not appreciate what I give or what I'm doing? You can't. Because the, the biggest part is healing. You understand? If you ain't given that, you'll forever be unhealed. You'll forever be weak. You'll forever be broken. You'll forever walk around feeling like you are breakable at, if, at any moment, at any time. You'll continue to walk around and feel like you are always misunderstood. But I am always misunderstood because I am not loudly heard. I am misunderstood because I do not allow myself to speak. I do not allow myself to speak within my foundation. I do not allow myself to speak within my situation. You understand? I do not allow myself to speak within the pain that I am feeling. I do not allow myself to speak How can I heal if I don't speak? How can I heal if I don't face it or address it or acknowledge it? You can't. Um, what did we say good to ourselves? I know sometimes we can step out and we can say good to other people. We can say good things to other people, but sometimes we forget about this. The most important thing important. I am important. You understand? What I think about myself is important. What I speak into myself is important. What I pour into myself is important. So I would say, did I go out and speak good into somebody else, but I forgot about myself? How can you forget about yourself? You understand? 
I think before I go out and speak good into anybody else or say something good to myself, let me say something good to myself first. Before I step out this door, let me acknowledge the good within me and the good that I do and the good that I am going to give on this day. I am acknowledging, I am appreciating myself. I'm appreciating me first. It take nobody else, nobody else to come along and show me the love. I can show me the love first. I can appreciate me first. I can acknowledge me first and acknowledge the good that I do, the good that I give in me first. And that's me again, holding that jug, pouring into myself, filling myself up before I go out and pour into somebody else. Before I go out and step into this job, before I go out and step into this school, before I go out and do anything of my day, I am filled up. So that's why I can walk around with a smile on my face, okay? And not walking outside that door waiting for somebody to acknowledge me, somebody to see and greet me, somebody to speak good into me. No, I spoke good into myself first. And I think it starts with me and it ends with me. So I speak good within myself, to myself, and I end it speaking good to myself, acknowledging myself, acknowledging what I give, acknowledging who I am, and acknowledging how important I am. Out we all. It's dealing with loving yourself. Hug yourself. Love yourself. Remember, if you can't love you, who else can? Okay? If you can't recognize the love within you that you give to yourself, how can you recognize the love that somebody is giving on the outside? Okay? Also, for the ones I want to say that just felt from a child, you probably didn't feel love coming up. And so you say, I don't know how to love me because I was never loved. Okay. But at some point, if you start building a foundation, building a foundation and growing love for everyone within your foundation, you know how to love. You understand? So sometimes we don't take that as an excuse because I know you can use it as an excuse and say, well, I never felt love from the beginning. My parents never, never. But if you start building your own foundation, it's natural. You pour it out and you give it within everyone around you that's in your foundation. You understand your kids. You have them. I would say husband, whoever, significant other. You pour that. may not be perfectly, but you have to understand my imperfections allow, allows me to be perfection within me being imperfect. Remember that. Take that with you. Use that. So it's not that what I would say, we can't continue to play the blame game. I got to learn it for myself. I got to accept. I got to take accountability and start acknowledging and working on. You understand? Because that's that part of that her, that she, and that's that me. Because I want to be a better me. I want to land within that me, of me being better, of who I used to be. You understand? And what I can give. Okay? But then it all turns around and flows back to you. Of what you were pointing to yourself. How are you trying to fix the old? You understand? How are you trying to step out of the old to step into the new? Okay. Sometimes, and I'm going to say this, sometimes we be so afraid to heal and also taking accountability that we always point the finger or we always turn around to point back. But then you say within change and within growth, we're growing every day. You understand it's your choice to choose if you want to work on you, if you want to heal, if you want to stitch, if you want to face it, you want to acknowledge it, you want to address it. It's on you. 
You understand? You can't you can't continue to blame it on nobody else because that because at this time I'm old enough and I'm grown enough to understand understand the things that I need to do for myself, for my well being, for my sanity, for my mind, body, and soul. And then it will go to for my healing, for me. You understand? No more can I put it on nobody else. No more can I say I can't heal because they no more. You understand? You got to put them shoes on. You have to lace them up. You have to start walking. You have to start moving, moving forward, moving in a different direction. Start claiming, claiming the things that I need to change, claiming the things that I need to work on, claiming the things that I've been broken and walking around so broken from that now it's time for me to heal. It's time for me to work on it. It's time for me to do it. And then that's what go back. When I first started her, she, me, and I said, rise and shine. It's time. It's your time. You understand? Each day that you rise and shine and that you get up, it's a, it's a new day. It's a new day to Put the broken pieces together. It's a new day for healing. It's a new day to sit down and say, what is it that I want on this day? What is it that I need to give on this day? What is it that I'm not giving? How much more do I need to pour into me? You understand? And I think just me coming back with her, she, me, that's basically what I wanted to give. And I'm just going to say, don't forget about you. Remember, it starts with you and it ends with you. It's about you. It's about you before you jump into anybody else thinking about or giving or pouring into anybody else. It starts with you. Okay? It starts with you. That's all I want to say on this day. I'll be back. Uh, I'll see y'all. Y'all might see a video that goes up on... Um, I almost forgot the name. Look at her. It's La the La La Way. Y'all done already seen that video before. It's just a re-upload from over here to over there. That's the video. So you don't have to tune in because it's all. I just want a lot of people just, you know, this world. So many of us are going through so many things, okay? And so many of us get overlooked, okay? Because, you know, I'm just saying. But just me reading and people actually sharing. Sometimes good and good words and good things can actually bring bring out a difference and make a difference. You understand? And just help certain people out. Certain people that's struggling. And I also want to say sometimes, and I said this in my comment, we may be seen, it, it may seem that, and y'all may hear a haze of bark in the background, y'all know I don't even care. Um, it may seem that you're stuck in a position, okay? You're stuck in a position or you are stranded, okay? I would say stranded or lost. But understand, each, even though you are stranded or may feel stranded or lost, you are getting stronger each and every day, okay? You're getting stronger each and every day to face your landing. You understand? So don't let it continue to weaken you. Continue to walk with your head up high, Okay? Continue to believe and trust that things will get better. You will find your way. You will find your destination. And even though it looks like I'm stranded and it looks like I'm stuck, I'm really not. Okay? I'm really not. But if I continue to allow myself to stay deep within my weakness, you understand? That's the only thing that I can do. But I know I'm strong enough and I know you understand, I'm going to find my destination. I'm on my way to my destination right now. But the thing of it is, I got to be strong. I got to be strong enough for that destination, for that landing. You understand? And I also learned we get put in so many situations because it's all about the things that we are not prepared for. You understand? So that's where it's say, I may feel that I am strong, but I'm weak. I'm weak. So weak. So when it feels like I have no direction and it feels like I'm lost and stranded, every day that I wake up, I am being strengthened within this. 
So at some point in some time, I got to continue to walk with my head up, continue to walk with my shoulders back to know I'm going to get through this and I got this, okay? And I'm being strengthened for my landing, you understand? So anything that comes around on the outside, you cannot break or weaken me. I'm strong enough for whatever comes toward me. Okay, it is building you, building you, okay? Every time something hits you and it seems like it's breaking you, it's building you, okay? Total opposite, it's building you, okay? Anyways, y'all, that's it, that's all for Hershey Me, It's Me, Hershey Me, It's You, Hershey Me, It's Us. Give yourself a hug. Love on yourself, speak good into yourself. Don't forget about yourself, okay? It starts with you, it ends with you. Okay? Starts with you first. Work on you. Continue, continue, continue. Peace.